Good morning, folks. The sun had a calm day, but we are far from having nothing to discuss. The filament eruptions we saw yesterday will miss Earth, and the sunspots are few and spread, leaving little in the way of solar flaring, and even less potential to see it develop. These spots aren't going to make it happen being so spread magnetically. If you've been following the updates at Space Weather News, however, you know that the solar wind telemetry has been a bit confusing. Was that the coronal hole impact or not? I was nearly certain that yesterday's telemetry was the leading edge of the wave, but the density continued rising all day without the speed coming up as well. Turns out it was the leading edge. You can see the cosmic ray flux about a day ago there, but the lead-in was just very drawn out and long. At its end, a final peak in density and then the sharp rises in solar wind speed and temperature. This coronal hole impact is moderate only, and I'm not sure if any geomagnetic storms are going to happen. They'd be minor if they did. While we're talking about things coming this way, we took our first gamma burst in a couple days last night from the southern hemisphere. Looking at coronal holes on the sun now, up north we have a large opening that may or may not be too geoeffective. By the way, it was a very quiet earthquake day, but do you see that patch incoming on the south? It appears to be a trans-equatorial portion of the northern positive opening the caboose bringing up the end of that polarity IMF. Both Gong and Iswa indicate the same and show at least moderate force to it. Combined with Mercury conjoining the Sun and Ceres actually in Earth's midnight position making for a four-way alignment, we'll have to expect an increase in earthquakes soon. Moderate earthquake watch begins today. Terrific ABC video here detailing the Southwest disaster taking place right now. The I-10 has been washed out and bridges collapsed in some areas. It was something we mentioned in part of our talks at PrepperCon and the Conscious Life Expo and many a time here on the website. A half-foot day of rain was going to happen within two years. Turns out it just took a few months and it was in excess of six inches in some places. It will happen again and again as these patterns set in for the long term. Speaking of which, El Nino dominates the effect seen in the latest State of the Climate report. While cold was the winner for a few years in a row, there is nothing that raises temperatures like El Nino. This one is linked for you below. West Pacific sees another typhoon readying to head for Japan. The moderate earth spot quakes already firing along its track. We also see developments south of Baja, and it is expected to strengthen and head west, moisture to its east heading up into the states and forming that backwards Y shape because of a high pressure node in the Midwest that makes convergences around its outside from the flow coming up due north. Observer's featured public content for now remains the valuable info playlist. It is full of amazing points and includes our two Steinbacher interviews, remembering his great work here. For website members, the featured content today is the Sun Series Supplement. As if becoming a quasi-Sun expert in one hour isn't good enough with the Sun Series videos, take it up another notch there. We've got the current conditions at our other top viewer locations, a peak at ocean temps, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.